Good morning, everyone, or good day to everyone, whatever time you actually uh, watch this presentation or this discussion. Uh, I hope everybody is doing well. So for today, we'll be talking about a topic or topics, should I say, that covers a week of our lesson. Okay? So I hope everybody do care in uh, checking out and uh, watching this video of my discussion because it's really relevant, especially with this topic, okay? So our topic for today is about speech acts, okay? So our subject, the subject itself is oral communication. So it is very essential for us to understand, okay, what is speech, how to, how to actually deal with a conversational type with different people, or what are the different acts of speaking, okay? So when we say speech acts, this is when someone expresses something, okay? When we are expressing something, it's part of our communication. He does not only produce utterances containing grammatical structures and words, but also he performs, okay, an action through the utterances which means even though we're not yet doing any actions, okay, with the support of our body language, okay, how we, how we actually uh, do this or do that, but with our speech, with our words, the words we utter from our mouth, okay, by the help of our tongue and uttering those words, it actually gives action. It, actu it actually gives meaning, okay? Action performed by an utterance called speech acts. Again, when we are uh, performing an action by the means of saying those words, this is what we call speech acts, okay? Because it's different when we say action words or action, it is an action because basically you are doing physical, uh, you are using your physical strength to do that action but when we say we do this action by the means of just simply saying something, that is what we call speech acts, okay? Example, you're fired, okay? So this word, you're fired, okay? You are requesting someone to, to, be, to be out of the company or of a specific word. Now, you are not basically giving exactly, okay, the words, okay, or the action, but you are giving the action by the means of your words, okay? Which means you're not literally firing that person, like to push that person out of the out of the building or out of your office, but through your action, it basically means something to get out or to get out of the work, to get out of the company. That's what we call speech act, okay? This utterance can be used by use or by us as an action to fire someone from his current job, okay? Now, Performing action by producing an utterance has three kinds of related acts. Again, when we are doing an action or doing a speech act, okay, there are different related acts on that, different kinds of speech action. Number one, re, uh, locutionary act. Okay, number two, elocutionary act or elocutionary force. And number three, per locutionary act or per locutionary effect. Now, what is the difference between these three? So let's find out. When we say locutionary act, this is an utterance that produces literal meaning, okay? So when we are saying something, this is what we call speech act, okay? We are producing words or we are uttering words and then it means something. It means an action word. Now we call it locutionary act when it produces a literal meaning, which means you are not flowering your words, you are not talking or you are not are uh, reading, be, uh, reading between the lines, but literally you are giving those words, those sentences, and with literal meaning, okay? That's what we call locutionary act. On the other hand, number two, we have a locutionary act or a locutionary force. This is an utterance which has social function in mind, okay? Which means when we hear these words uttered by someone, okay, it has social function in our mind, which means it may request us to I mean, it, it may mean something or there is an intention because this person has an intention of saying this for me to feel good about it. 
for me to feel bad about it, for me to feel offended about it. That's what we call social functioning mind. Okay. When we say on the other hand, uh, on, on the other hand, also number three, per locutionary act or per locutionary effect. Okay. This is an utterance that gives an effect to do something. Okay. There is an effect when we hear these words, especially effect on whom? Effect on the listener. Okay. So per locutionary act, per locutionary effect has an utterance or it is an utterance that gives an effect to do something or it has an effect on the listener. Okay, so let's let's uh, let's try to uh, distinguish the difference between these three through the following examples. Okay, for example, the sentence, it's hot in here or it's hot here. It's hot here. It's hot here. Okay, locutionary act. The speaker feels hot in this place, in this place. So that's locutionary act because it's literally okay it's literally understanding or getting the meaning that it's really hard in the place because it's found in the sentence okay that's literal that's locutionary act now when we say a locutionary act okay the utterance has two possible meanings inside because the locutionary has social function in mind it depends upon the person okay on how the person actually understood or get or uh, do process that word, okay? An indirect request for someone to open the window, okay? Or an indirect refusal to close the window because something or someone is cold, okay? So there is a social function in mind. It depends upon the person, how the person gets or understood that, that statement. It's hot in here, okay? So it may be, again, a locutionary act when a person says, it's hot in here or it's hot here, it may mean it may be an indirect request for someone to open the window. The person could not just simply say, open the window, but the person says, it's hot here. So basically common sense that the person should open the window, okay? And then, or in indirect refusal to close the window because someone is cold, okay? So maybe someone would like to close the window, but when a person says, it's hot here, so this is a refusal to not close the window because it's hot here where someone feels cold inside. Okay, that's a locutionary act. There is a social function in mind. Okay, I hope you got my got my point. And for locutionary act, okay, the hearer will open the window or will open or close the window. Okay, again, for locutionary act, the hearer or the listener will open or close the window because that's the effect of that utterance. Okay, that's the effect of that utterance when it's happening here, which means you do the we you do the action. Okay, you do the action of whether you close or you open the window. Okay. So uh, let's let's review. Uh, elocutionary act is the main focus of speech acts. Okay. Elocutionary force from an utterance is what it counts as. Mm -hmm. 